Hello, welcome to Benevolent Plum Tarot. My name is Jess. This is going to be the weekly reading for the week of July 26, 2021. So let's go ahead and just see what's coming in for you this week. All right. Okay, we have Prince of Cups, the Devil, Seven of Cups, Queen of Swords, the Tower. Huh. Um, you know what I'm really feeling right now? There's a there's a couple different things going on. I'm and I'm also getting some Taurus energy. The Taurus is not here on the board, but I'm feeling like there is some Taurus energy here. Um, we have some water energy here. So that's Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, and we have swords. So that would be Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Um, I feel like there is this over, possibly overdoing it energy. Um, or, yeah, an attachment to overdoing something. Something is, um, is too strong. Like, I feel like something's too strong. Too much effort or too much... Um, so I feel like this is going to be a little bit different for everybody. Somebody's overworking. Um, somebody's um, overdoing it. Somebody's overdoing it physically and not getting enough rest. And so when I'm, and then the other thing I'm getting is there's multiple things. So the Seven of Cups here is telling me that um, there's going to be multiple things, even just for one individual. So um, this reading is for a lot of people. And if you're here now, then I trust that there are messages here meant for you. And I feel like there is something you may be overdoing this week. Um, and I feel like for many, it's multiple things that are, are being overdone. So you may have a couple of different things going on at once that's sort of draining your energy. And so I feel like if you do not give yourself a chance to rest, we recuperate, um, get some actual sleep, get some time to um, just recharge, then something could could... Uh, go wrong here. I'm, you know, some there could be something like an injury or just, you know, um, exhaustion, a breakdown. Um, you, this is a warning I'm getting for this week to let loose the attachment to whatever it is that you're trying to overdo. And for some, this is going to be overdoing communication with somebody as well. And so I feel like if you're pushing too hard at anything this week, there is a chance of something going wrong or, you know, um, kind of something being pulled, you know, the rug being pulled out from underneath you. And even if it's overthinking. So, wow, this is like multiple things. Um, overthinking is what I'm getting for overdoing the overthinking. And so if you're overthinking on something too much, you're going to gain less clarity rather than more on a situation. So really this week is really just stepping back. Um, giving yourself a chance to step back, recuperate, recharge, get some rest, get a broader perspective on whatever's going on in your life, be at work, <laughs> um, you know, trying to work on maybe physical activity. Um, and I, and definitely if somebody is not getting enough rest, like sleep, sleep wise and overthinking, over communicating, pushing something too hard. So Focus on this week is, actually, I want to switch the deck. Focus on this week is recharging, disconnecting a little bit from, I feel like there's just too much pressure going on. Oh, okay. There are a little bit more, so collectively too, a little bit of a collective energy here of things going on in the world, like a little bit bigger, and I don't want to get too much into that. Um... But I am seeing continuing, like, okay, yeah, I don't want to get too much into that um, because I definitely don't want you to overthink about the things that are going on at a, that are outside of your control. There's a lot of flooding right now. There's a lot of fires. There's a lot of um, traumatic events happening. And this week coming up, um, there's still more of that traumatic event. I really feel like it's important to disconnect from if you're watching the news a whole lot if you're following these stories of course you want to be informed um, of course if you're there's a way to help um, support people in any way then of course um, you should do that if you can if you have the means to but if there's you know if there's no control over the situation if you have no control of it and it's just bringing you more distress draining you make sure you're taking breaks and I'm disconnecting from the outside world as much as you can. Uh, I'm really feeling like it's the stress is overwhelming. Yeah. Um, 
And that may sound all kind of negative, but it is. It's just a warning to make, make sure you're taking care of yourself. Give yourself um, some self-care. This is kind of, look at what flipped out, the Six of Swords. This is telling me that you need uh, need some peace. Need some peace of mind in your life right now. So you have to try and find those peaceful moments where you can. Maybe in the morning time before the day gets started, um, if you're able to kind of like step outside. Even, you know, um, yes, I would like. I feel like you need to try and get more sleep if you can, but if you can set your alarm clock 15 minutes early just so you can spend um, 10, 15 minutes maybe like outside in the, you know, on your porch or having just some quiet time to really just um, unplug the, you know, no phones, no computers, no TVs, and just have 10, 15 minutes to just kind of be present. Um, is we're going to go very far to bringing you some more peace. And when you have a little bit more peace, it brings in more clarity because you can better be more aware and see things more clearly. And you're better able to um, move forward in life and do the things that you need to do um, in a more stable way. So definitely a big energy of rest recharge with the devil again so somebody's really overdoing it here and lying to themselves about it wow death hurt okay so listen i be honest with yourself where is it that you need to unplug where is it that you need to um get a break from uh, for somebody, I feel like there's some drama as well. Probably, uh, you know, relationship type of drama. Some is going to be work type of drama. So I feel like not giving too much energy to that. Try to get, you know, if you're having some sort of relationship drama or work drama, um, try to step back from that. Um, put aside the issue and kind of step back and try to see a bigger perspective here with whatever is going on because I feel like you're too close to the situation. Um, you're not able to see clearly. So there's an energy here of just not of, of not being able to see things um, clearly enough because the perspective is too close in. So there's definitely a need. Put the pride aside. Put the need to be correct aside. Um, and this, I hope this isn't coming out too harshly. <laughs> But this is what I'm getting in this reading. So I'm, I'm hoping this is falling. I trust this is falling on the ears that needs to fall on. Um, put the pride aside. Put the um, need to be correct aside. Uh, and really try to recenter and gain a broader perspective here. See both sides of the situation, whatever it may be. Because, um, yeah, there's an attachment here to the situation. Um, you know, and I feel like... It, if you're able to kind of lean, you know, sit back from the situation and get a broader perspective, there's more victory to come in for you. It's like there's more uh, things are going to go more your way. So, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely leaning back from the situation here. OK, um, I also have Scorpio here on the board as well. Um, I have Cancer on the board. I have Capricorn on the board. OK. Okay, so moving forward from, you know, with this sort of like gaining more perspective, giving yourself some self-care, the rest coming in this week, um, by doing so, it's like you're going to be much better able to communicate with more optimism and, you know, being able to find your words more clearly, being able to communicate how you really feel in a much more compassionate way. So I feel like communication is a big thing this week, um, but maybe not right away. I feel like it's taking the step back first and then the communication will naturally fall into a be uh, much better flow. Um, we do have a little bit of a boundary here. So um, holding boundaries where you need to and respecting boundaries when you need to. Very important this week. Uh, and then we have this Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like abundance coming in because of this time spent. It's an investment in yourself, in your relationships, in your work, um, in your life. It's an investment to be able to take the time where you can to unplug and recharge, rest. It's so important. It's like the biggest element of the reading is really self-care. Self-care is going to help heal relationships um, and just heal the alignment in your purpose, passions, and moving forward in life. Um, and abundance comes in. You know, more abundance will be coming in. You'll be able to have more gratitude as well uh, for the people and things and um, elements in your life. So, yep, more gratitude, more abundance. Beautiful. So definitely take that time where you can to to 
get that self-care. Anything from the universe here? Okay, message from the universe here. There we go. Yep, beautiful, beautiful. I love it. Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups, Chariot. Okay, so um, still we do, we still have the water energy on the board. We still have the air energy on the board. We have Cancer here coming out again. Um, we have this full card. Um, this is adventure, action, you know, leaps of faith, movement forward. So I feel like after this rest period, um, when this abundance can start flowing in again, um, feeling connected with your own abundance, feeling that gratitude, you are able to move forward with so much more trust um, because you've gained a broader perspective. I feel like there's some balance here between logic and emotion coming in. So I feel like it may be one-sided right now. Maybe you're much more in the element of emotional reaction and response or, um, you know, without the logic element or the other way around. You may be just overthinking, overthinking, and not really connecting to the, to your true feelings on an issue, um, connecting to that intuition on an issue. So this is more balance coming in because of this broader perspective, because you took the time to invest in some self-care and rest. Um, and part of that self-care, again, is disconnecting from the internet like from, you know, at least a little bit of the time of the day, like giving yourself a chance to sit quietly or enjoy just be in present moment with a few minutes without, uh, you, you know, the the devices and the internet, basically the connection, the TV. Um, and then you'll be able to reconnect and have a little bit more balanced perspective when you come back to seeing what's going on in the world and connecting on social media. So I feel like there's a big element here of rebalancing before you get back into um, the World Wide Web. It's a big element here in this reading, so I feel like it may be even a little bit of an addiction here, um, kind of getting back to the phone, getting every free moment, kind of like checking the social media or just scrolling through whatever it is. Um, it's like being able to disconnect from that is going to bring more, uh, you know, that more more of that balance between emotion and logic. And then when you come back into um, picking up that device again or reconnecting, you'll have a more balanced approach and be able to understand things with a more uh, balanced filter. I hope that makes sense. And then heading off for more victories here with this chariot, being able to move forward uh, with faith, trust, um, you know, abundance coming in for you, moving forward towards more victories, even traveling or, or you know, actually physically moving forward for some. Um, beautiful. So I really love this energy. So it's like, an investment in yourself this week with the resting, recharging, and it really just helps put you in flow with your own abundance. So I really love it. I'm going to go ahead and get an Art of Manifestation card, and I'll get one of my animal cards as well. All right, Art of Manifestation card for the viewers at home or wherever they are. People who are connected to this reading. Okay, release the past here for somebody. All right, release the past. Releasing the past does not mean we forget, nor does it mean that if something bad happens that it was okay. It means that we make a personal choice to no longer allow our history to dictate and shape our life, both now and in our present time and in our future. So for some part of this disconnecting um, this week, and I, again, we're healing relationships too by get by the self care. That's actually going to go and help heal your connections with the people in your life. And I feel like for some, there is maybe some an ongoing disconnect or argument, or um, you know that element of needing to be right or standing your ground in some way um, without the whole picture or without the whole perspective. This is asking you to sort of release um, some of that energy. You know. There's an element here of releasing control over the situation and allowing that kind of flow to come in and that trust to come in. Um, so, yeah, releasing the past is, is um, I feel, a pretty specific message. However, I feel like it's bigger than this. It's really just allowing 
um, things that have happened to not control what's happening now, not control your feelings, your thoughts. Um, it's disconnecting from that and allowing yourself some time to heal and again, recharge. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get an animal card for the week here. With that Queen of Swords coming out twice as well, um, along with some of this other energy, I do feel there may be, I'm feeling pretty strongly about that needing to be correct uh, energy. I also feel like there's um, a need to speak with compassion when you are speaking your mind or when you are maybe even defending your position. Um, make sure you're coming from a place of compassion. Cobra. All right, beautiful fiery cobra. Let's see. What does the cobra have to tell us today? Cobra energy supporting us this week. All right, cobra, the energy of pausing. <laughs> that rest. That, that recharge, pausing, waiting, the inner teacher. The cobra represents a teacher or a spiritual guardian. The cobra hovers and watches, ever present, ever protecting, ever loving. The essence of the cobra is found deep within us in the form of the inner teacher and manifests externally in those special guides who've led us along our path. What would it feel like to be a student again? What are you ready to learn? Remember the old saying, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. So when in balance, this is a student of life. You are humble, you are uh, uh, wise. When out of balance, egocentric and know-it-all have to be correct. Um, to bring into balance, taking a class or studying, and um, I'm gonna add on that sort of gaining more perspective, <laughs> gaining more information about a situation or about a situ you know, your situation in general overall by stepping back and um, taking a rest, giving yourself a chance to get some more clarity by being in a receptive space rather than an assertive space. So I hope that makes sense. Taking time to just rest. It's just going to be going so far for you this week. Um, so yeah, a week of rest, recharge, and self-care. Uh, so that's going to be the messages for this week. I hope you found it helpful. And yeah, give it a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. So much love. See you next time.